What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Xavier. Hope you guys have a blessed weekend and week. Uh, it is right now at the time of this recording, Thursday. So, yeah, hope you guys have a blessed week. <laughs> Most of the week's already gone. Um, it's been an interesting one. Uh, the, the beginning of this week involved me going to Jacksonville, Florida, which I love my Florida runs. I took a, a powder, powder coating machine down there. It was, in, it was in a bunch of pieces, and it was interesting. It was definitely interesting. So I figure I'll show y'all a couple of clips of that run, uh, and uh, I'm going to get on with the topic of YouTube influencers that got me into the trucking game and uh, all that good stuff. So check these clips out, and uh, I'll get back with y'all in a second. All right, y'all. Good morning. All right, so I'm uh, at my destination in Orange Park, Florida. Um, as you can see, I'm on the wrong side of the road. I have to be because I have to somehow back this big bastard off this not-so-wide road onto this not-so-wide driveway. And lucky me, I got the 53-footer to do it with. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be fun. I wasn't really in the mood for all that this morning. It's whatever. I went ahead and slipped my tandems as far forward as possible to give me as much swinging power as much as possible. So it's big. Uh, it's a big awkward load. I'm not gonna lie to you, but we got it here, safe and sound. <sighs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, of course, everybody in the mom one comes down the road. As typically, what happens is probably gonna be everybody, everybody that can think of come down this road. Right as I'm trying to back up. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh well, we're gonna make it do what they do, make it do what it does. He's getting unloaded right now, so hopefully it won't take him too long. I'm gonna hop back on the AC because it is already humid. Like the sun's not even out, y'all. Sun's not even hardly out, and it's just humid for no reason. Ugh, that's the South for you, baby. But yeah, anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next clip. Ooh, y'all. We gotta put in some work today. Here's the load, untarped. It's just a random assortment of different objects. I think it's a powder coating machine, if I'm not mistaken. Oh man, they had this thing bungeed and all kinds of tarps, all kinds of strapped, all kinds of edge protected. That tarp's actually got some holes poked in it from the sharp part. Thankfully, the product didn't get ruined or nothing like that, but I did kept notice as I was taking it off. So, I got about three more tarps. Big red tarps fold up. Black tarps. I mean, I got shit everywhere. That was all that was used on that load to protect it. Whew, man. Yeah, that was some work. It doesn't help that the, uh, it's already humid as can be. The hot floor of the sun. But anyways, I'm gonna do that's enough yapping. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, get all this cleaned up, and uh, we don't head, head on down to the road. Alright, as y'all can see, I am getting loaded right now. I've been here waiting to get loaded for two hours. That's right. I had to wait. I was at the first stop, my delivery stop, this morning for two hours. I get here from back home, and I'm sitting for two hours waiting. That's a nice sound of Jake break. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal is today. I guess this just gonna be a day of waiting. So, uh, I mean, it's what it is. I guess it's like that in trucking sometimes. It's just. You have those days where you're just gonna get held up. <sighs> so, yeah, he gonna throw these on. Looks like I'm carrying some paved stone. And they're in crates. That's what's odd. I don't know, but I'm ready to get up, get out of here and find a shower somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna have us go. I'm, I may. They may have us bring it back to the shop. I don't know if they say if they say so, then I'm trying to shoot for it. Cause I got some time to play with, but I don't know. It's gonna be pushing it. It's definitely gonna be pushing it. 
So I still have to drive through Atlanta. And y'all that, that drive through Atlanta, especially the truckers that drive, have to drive 285, y'all know what I'm talking about. And Chattanooga. Well, Chattanooga kind of lightened up a little bit here lately. But definitely Atlanta for sure. It's going to be the questionable one. So I don't know. Let's see what I can do. Whew, I know one thing. Your boy needs a shower. This, uh, this Florida humidity ain't no joke. Yeah, so, whew, man, I had to get me something to eat real quick. Um, but yeah, so as y'all can see by the uh, clips right there, it's been an interesting start of the week. Uh, that was definitely an interesting load, and not one of my favorites, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> but I mean, hey, that's trucking for you. You can't have all the easy loads all the time. Every now and again, we actually have to work for the big bucks that we make doing this. But yeah, so uh, as of right now, I am in St. Charles, Missouri, which is right outside St. Louis. And uh, sleeping at this sub power station just down the road from it. And uh, we're going to deliver at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll try to fix this real quick. There we go. Uh, but yeah, real quick, uh, I wanted to talk to y'all about my top four youtube influencers as far as the trucking game is concerned uh those that are new to the channel real fast i used to be a mechanic i did that for about six years so i realized that mess wasn't for me and i got out of it got into trucking but before i got out of it you know i do like everyone else that's looking to do a new career i look at youtube and uh first youtube trucker that i come across is trucker brown I started watching his stuff, and uh, one of the very first videos I watched was a video kind of like, should you become a truck driver in 2019, yada, yada, yada. But he starts breaking it down, talking about what to expect, and he's, he gets to the pay and the home time and all that stuff, and I really wasn't digging it. Like, I knew truck drivers stayed gone a lot, and I heard the pay wasn't the best, but you know, he talked about the average, which, you no, know, he wasn't lying about that. You know, that is what the average is starting out. Um, he started talking about the average. You know, you have to be gone like three, four weeks at a time. Uh, starting out pay-wise, you're only going to make about six, seven hundred bucks. And then, you, you know, that's before taxes. You know, however your bills are set up, this, that, and the other. And it kind of scared me off a little bit. I'm just like, man, I don't know about this. But it got to a point in my mechanic career to where I just really was unhappy doing it. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna do some more research. So I kept looking at more, more of his videos and stuff. And I was like, okay, so not necessarily all truckings like this. You just gotta find, you know, where to go. And then I started watching the Asian My Show. I came across, I forget how I came across him, but I started watching him and his videos. And I loved his segment, I, I think it's, I don't know. I can't remember the proper title, so I don't want to say it. But for those that have watched and those that don't know, he did a segment where he would interview truck drivers that worked at different companies, and they would tell the truth about the company. You know, and they all love their jobs, of course. But you know, they actually told you the truth of what you expect to make. You know, what the life as as far as uh, I, it was called reality versus expectation versus reality. That's what it was called. So watch that series, y'all, especially the new cats. Um, watch that because it'll give you a good idea of what to expect working at each company and, and expect, uh, you know, each type of niche of trucking. Which, getting to that, uh, you know, he talked about the different niches of trucking, which is, you know, dry band, reefer, flatbed, tanker, what have you. Um, I wanted to do flatbed for one because I knew that was the best paying type of trucking out there and I can still get out and do stuff and not have to just sit around in the truck for hours on end. Um, but yeah, he talked about all that, you know, interviewed different people that did it and stuff and that's what influenced me to pursue the niche of trucking that I'm in. All right, so, uh, so I started watching all his stuff. I still watch all his content to this day because he posts a new video every single day, literally. And, but it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. I love him to death. Uh, hopefully one day I'll get to meet him. <clears throat> Fix my camera real quick. Cheap, cheap cell phone holder of mine. Uh, 
There we go. Uh, so yeah, Asian Mod shows the second one. The third one I started watching was uh, Trucking with Tay. I actually found out with, about him through the Asian Mod show because Tay did an interview with Alex one time talking about Maverick and such. Uh, so I started watching his YouTube channel, and I mean he's he's hilarious to watch. He's hilarious to watch and very inspirational. I mean he's my age, and uh, he's got two years of trucking on me, but he, we're the same age. And you know he walk, you know you if you follow him long enough, you basically watch him throughout his entire trucking journey from the two years he's been at Maverick as a flatbedder to you know him being an owner operator right now. You know, so it's very inspirational stuff right there. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend checking his channel out as well and buying his merch. Um, the fourth one that's a big inspiration would be C1 Specialized. Now, C1 Specialized, he's a heavy hauler. He uh, he, he hauls mainly uh, the windmill stuff, windmill to the wind farms and stuff, like the big sails and things like that, or you know, like the big square pieces the motors of it, I guess you can call it. Um, but he hauls a... Good grief, I didn't know it was that late already. <laughs> anyway, he's getting distracted. But yeah, he does the heavy haul stuff. Uh, so I, you know, I was always curious about that industry. So I started doing research on that, and then he's one of the main ones I watch. Uh, and uh, there, there's just a plethora of YouTube truckers that I watch, but for the sake of this video, I'm only going to name four. Otherwise, this will be an extremely long video and y'all already have a hard enough time following the videos of the links that I make now. <laughs> so, but yeah, y'all, those are my top four influencers. If you're going to get into this industry, you know, now we live in an age where everything's on YouTube. So, if there's a new career about anything that you're interested in, there is someone on YouTube to talk about it and what to expect. Um, and uh, that's kind of where I'm trying to lead my channel to. Um, try to add to that, you know, letting people know what they expect coming into his career and whatnot, and learning through my experiences as well. So, I mean, my thing is we're all learning together. I mean, I don't care if you've been doing it, you know, one year, six months, or 20, 30 years. We're all learn learning something new every day. I mean, that's just, that's just what it is. It's one of those industries where you'll never stop learning because everything is constantly changing. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all the fabulous YouTube viewer things that y'all do. Um, let me know what you want to see so I have a better idea with the post because I'm just going through the motions, y'all. I really would like to start getting some feedback and just actually making some really, really good content for you guys. Uh, especially if I'm going to do this, you know, seriously you know i want to make sure i'm doing a good job and all that stuff so let me know what you want to see uh other than that y'all stay blessed hope you guys have a good weekend y'all be safe and we'll see y'all